Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Coaster of the Week. Now this week's coaster is going to be a little bit different to all the other coasters I've done throughout the past few episodes I've done on the channel already. So this week's coaster is going to be even thrilling and even less nauseous than the other ones I've done because this coaster actually has a few wacky elements in it which turn the actual trains upside down for a few moments which I'm going to be talking to you right now. So this coaster this week is called Mission to Mars. Now this coaster, like I keep saying, it's got a few wacky elements like I was just saying about just a few seconds ago and plus it actually turns the car upside down for a few seconds and then, then another bit of track then turns it back to the normal position. So yeah, let's have a look at this coaster and then we'll do an APOV of this coaster. So the thrill, excuse me, the thrill, I mean not the thrill, I'll, I'll go, go back on that later. So the max speed is 44.56 miles per hour. The average speed is 19.95 miles per hour. The time it takes to get around the whole track is 56 seconds. So that's not really that long for, for a coaster. There are four drops on this coaster and there are three inversions. So those inversions are like the, the ones that turn the cars upside down. I um, even added like a bit of twisted track as well, which just turns the coaster car side to side for a bit and then goes back to normal position, then goes up the lift hill. Now let's talk about the full rating and nausea rating. So full rating, 77 out of 100, that is absolutely amazing. The nausea rating, 42 out of, a one, out of a possible 100. It's not really that bad this week, to be honest. So yeah, really, a really good coaster. So without further ado, let's get straight on to this week's roller coaster POV video. Enjoy. So there you go then, that is this week's roller coaster POV completed. What I liked about it was the way that the coaster car actually just turned upside down and it feels like, you know, it's an inverted coaster, I mean it's a suspended coaster and then what it does is literally the, the wheels are actually on top of the track instead of the bottom so the coaster actually then turns upside down with the wheels with the bottom on the bottom of the track before going back to the top. So yeah, really, it's been a really good coaster. I like the colours I've actually done as well. But yeah, it's actually not that fast, so it's actually, you know, not the fastest coaster I've done out of the episodes. But yeah, a really good coaster this week. So there you go then. That's literally it for this week's episode of Coaster of the Week. And can I just say, if you've not checked out this week's Ultimate Roller Coaster Building Challenge, I actually built a steel coaster. However, I'm not going to tell you how well I've done, you just got to find out yourself. So those videos, that video is now online, there's, there's one more episode to go. Uh, please check out the other two ultimate roller coaster building challenge videos I've done where I actually built a wooden coaster and of course a suspended coaster as well. Thank you very much for watching Brown Fate Productions. I will be back next Thursday for episode 30 of Coaster of the Week. I cannot believe how quick, you know, it feels like I've only just started doing Coast of the Week way back in February, but now here we are towards the end of the summer with nearly 30 episodes. So this is episode 29, which is absolutely fantastic. Until then, I'll see you next Thursday for episode number 30. See you in the next video. Bye for now. 
thank you for watching Brampick Productions. Check out Brampick Productions on Facebook and Instagram for more updates on the channel. Click on the Brampick Productions icon to subscribe to the channel. Check out all the other videos that are in the end screen below.